I know a lot about West Point. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. And I have been on their cover like 14 or 15 times. I think we have the all-time record in the history of Time Magazine. Now I can read the polls maybe better than anybody because it seems that I understood the polls a lot better than many of the pollsters understood the polls. I, I can handle a bad story better than anybody. As long as it's true. I do get good ratings, you have to admit that. I love the First Amendment. Nobody know, loves it better than me. With the exception of the late, great Abraham Lincoln, I can be more presidential than any president that's ever held this office. That I can tell you. I've had a great, successful career. I built a great, great business. What I do best, I built. It's probably something I could say that I'm very good at. My other life was very good. I'm the builder president, remember that, so I understand. <laughs> You're made for this. One of the great memories of all time, I went to an Ivy League college. Uh, I was a nice student. I did very well. Uh, I'm a very intelligent person. I'm very consistent. I'm a very stable genius. You know, Donald Trump just loves playing up the image that he's the smartest guy in the room because at the end of the day, deep down inside, he knows he absolutely is not. This guy's like a hard-headed rock. He can't move. All I want to do is signature verification. Signature verification, and it's a total win. They don't want to do it, and they're Republicans. Now, what's their problem? They're stupid, okay? They're stupid people. So we won the evangelicals. We won with young. We won with old. We won with highly educated. We won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. We're the smartest people. We're the most loyal people. Yesterday, reporters asked me if I thought President Putin was smart. I said, of course he's smart, to which I was greeted with, oh, that's such a terrible thing to say. But at the end of the day, really all that happens is he ends up embarrassing himself and he's constant entertainment for the MAGA base. And some of his appeal is that, well, you know, this guy's always off his rocker. He's always going off on everybody. He's always acting like a jackass. If Donald Trump came up to you right now and he said, I want to have a heart to heart with you, what would you talk about with him? I would ask him, is, is McDonald's his favorite? <laughs> is it your favorite? No, I'm on a uh, diet. Don't try it. <laughs> Former President Trump, if he were to walk up to us now, what would you say to him? Uh, I, would, I would tell him that I would lay down my life for his security. And that uh, I hope that he makes it through all of the, all of the shenanigans that are going on right now. Um, and, That's saying quite a lot, that you'd lay down his life. There are people who are paid to do that. You're right. And you'd say that you would do it regardless. Exactly. Why is, what is it about him? Um, like I said, it's his leadership. Um, you know, forget, forget the way he's portrayed in the media. Um, look at what he's done for this country. And then look at where the country is now compared to when he was in office. And that should be, that should be your casting vote. If he walked up to us right now and he said, hey, how are you? Uh, and you could have a heart to heart with him. What would you say to him? Like, I follow him on uh, the conservative news stations. So um, I know what he's about. I'd probably just be like, you know, what'd you have for dinner last night? What are, <laughs> what you doing? Like, right. I, it wouldn't be anything probably political. It would just be some kind of wanting to get to know him as a person more. If President Trump, the former President Trump, came here and asked you, uh, you know, to just have a heart to heart with him, what's the what's something you would uh, tell the former president? Uh, his border policy to me is one of the best, keeping them illegals out of here because they're taking over us, and we have no rights. And without Trump, we won't have no rights. And sir, what would you tell the former president if he came up to you? Well, that I, I like the way he run the country and stuff, and you know, stood up to the China and them and stuff. I think the guy is awful honest and, and stuff the way he's doing it. I mean, he gave up a lot just to even be president. He, he didn't even get paid. He gave up his business to his kids and stuff. I just don't understand, but I, I think he knows how to run the country. And this is how future presidents need to be looking at how to do it. Man, this is some truck. You're blasting Lee Greenwood. You got United We Stand, We the People. Uh, what makes you do it, Dean? We actually started this after we went out to D.C. to protest for trucker rights. It, you know, Trump's inside over there now. What would you say to him if he, if he just walked out here and talked to you about your truck? And what would you say to the former president? I'd be speechless, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. 
you could have a heart to heart with him, what would you say to him? I love you, Donald Trump. I need you back in the office. Um, and he would. What if he asked you? He said, "What do you love about me? Like, what is one thing you'd like to see me do?" Uh, I want I want him to finish the 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 border. Obviously, I think a lot of us do, and that's this. I'm sure this will get misconstrued as, "Oh, he hates foreigners," and that's not it. You got you lock your door when you go to sleep, don't you? You got a fence around your yard. It's the same thing. It's the same thing as people that you got to go through a driver's license test to drive. You should take a test to come into my country. Like, I w you can't just let anybody in. Like, I'm actually scared. Let's go back to the Hamas thing. I'm genuinely scared that this could come back to our homeland, letting all these people in. And I look at the riots going on in the capital, Massachusetts, New York. How do we know they're not planning some inside 9-11 job? How do we know? I can't, we can't just let them come in here and do whatever they want. And then we're having a Trump rally and we get arrested. But they, they, they're free to do whatever they want. I'm here right now. We're not doing nothing wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's how I feel a lot of people portray I it. mean, the wig. Well, <laughs> I know. It's a little messy right now. Yeah, exactly. I need, I need You're to not get, doing anything wrong, except maybe the, that wig. The Secret Service needs to give me some pointers, <laughs> that's man. That's true. <laughs> they really let you go today. <laughs> if Donald Trump came up to you, what would you say to him? Donald, I want to shake your hand and meet your family, and I want to thank you for all of the work that you have done for this country to keep it back the way it was. If President Trump walked up to you and you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart with him right now, what would you say to him? I'd say I love him. Thank you for everything you've done. It's pretty, he's just, he's just a beautiful guy. I mean, look, listen, Donald Trump has so many ridiculous ideas. He says so many stupid things that you really can't keep up. I mean, off the top of my head, I got... Well, he was talking about injecting bleach or some type of house cleaner into your system or, or UV rays, you know, like stuff like that. Nuking hurricanes, I guess, you know, because the hurricane, the, you know, the hurricanes, they spin in a clockwise direction. And then if you put a nuclear bomb in the middle of it, it'll it, it will dissolve the particles and then make it go counterclockwise. And then the hurricane will disappear. I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't know. I mean, he. what else has he said? This dude, oh yeah, he thinks that there's only a finite amount of energy in the human body. And that's why he doesn't exercise. Because like, if you work out too much, you'll you'll deplete your energy. And I mean, maybe that's work for him. The dude has managed to get up to almost 80 years old, surviving off nothing but McDonald's Diet Coke and hatred and narcissism and, and pettiness. Pettiness above everything else. But I mean, I mean, this guy is just the king of stupid... He doesn't know anything. You remember when he was getting an interviewed with Axios? He was like, read the books. J just read the books. Like, I mean, look, listen. If nothing else, it's hilarious, but it's also frightening because the man may become president again. So let's do what we got to do.